lovers, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for being here again. And if you're new, please click the subscribe button and the little bell icon so you don't miss my new videos. I am going to show you how to do this pulled up skin slash pumpkin jack-o'-lantern beauty creepy makeup. <laughs> I'm gonna stop pulling my skin because it's very uncomfortable and I think you get the idea. This makeup is part of my 31 days of Halloween challenge so make sure you check out the next one. I'll be coming back every day on YouTube for 31 days. I hope you don't hate Halloween because it's gonna be a hell of a horrible month for you. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> I have trouble speaking but you gotta get used it if you're gonna follow me. All right guys, let's get started. Oops, I just spat. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm going to start cover by... I'm having a rough start, but I'm gonna get myself together and, and give you a understandable, intelligible tutorial, I promise. <laughs> so I'm gonna cover my eyebrow. You don't need to spend a lot of money or time. All you're gonna need is a glue stick, you know, the ones that you used in school. And now you're gonna apply it on your eyebrow, brushing it up. Let it dry a few seconds and then take a compact powder, preferably one that you don't care about because it's gonna kind of ruin it with the glue on your sponge. Yeah, do not use a Chanel <laughs> super expensive powder. And then with your sponge, you're gonna tap the powder delicately on your brow. You press hard and then you remove it going upward. Make sure that you don't brush your brows down because otherwise you're gonna unglue them. Okay, first one complete. What did I say? First one complete? First step complete. Still waking up, guys. Okay, now the next step is going to be the tracing of the separation between the two different parts of your makeup. That makes any sense. So you want to grab a pencil. Any color will work except flashy colors. Yeah, so the trick is going to be to pretend that you're pulling your skin like this, okay? So, second step complete. Alright, now on to the beauty look. I'm going to start by applying primer. You don't have to put on primer if you don't have it. It's just that the primer is going to make the makeup last longer and it's going to also make all the pigments look brighter. And I have put too much. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be hard to apply without touching that line here. Now I'm putting on the foundation and I'm using a beauty blender to apply it. I'm using an angled one so I can more easily put it around that line here. Okay, now let's sculpt that face with some contouring I'm using this shade here. Now I'm going to put on some blush and I'm using an orange color to match the whole look, my eye look and the jack-o'-lantern side. Now highlight. I'm going to put the highlight with my finger and I'm going to put a lot. Yes. Okay, I'm now going to move on to the eye makeup. I'm going to begin the eye makeup with primer. Now I'm gonna put on the first color on my crease and it's gonna be this one. And now I'm going to create a gradient with yellow, this yellow, and then this darker one, and then orange, grab this one, and then red. First you wanna put some more of that base so that the pigments stick better to your eye and last longer. Now I'm putting on a darker yellow. Now orange. And finish with red. Alright, now with a clean brush, blend everything in together. And if you feel like you've lost some pigments, you can really apply eyeshadows and blend again. Now I'm going to enhance the eye shape here and the crease with black eyeshadow. Now I'll put some highlight on my brow bone. Now I'm applying 
applying coal on the roots of my lashes and on my waterline. And I'm going to blend it with a brush. And now I'm blending orange eyeshadow with the black. Now I'm going to put some highlight in inner corner. Now to make sure the makeup lasts long, I'm using setting spray. And now to perfect the look, you can put on your mascara or false eyelashes if you have them. I'm gonna go for false eyelashes. Okay guys, now I'm ready to move on to the pumpkin part of the makeup. And I'm going to start by sketching the nose, the mouth and eye of jack o -Lantern with this orange cream paint that I created by mixing two colors, yellow and orange. This is not red, it's actually a dark orange, but it was too dark for my pumpkin, so I mixed them together. Let's start with the nose. Okay, I'm gonna set it with loose powder now. <coughs> and then I'm gonna create a 3D illusion, a carved illusion by adding yellow on one side and darkening this orange. And to darken it, I'm using black eyeshadow. So you tap on it very gently, very slowly. This is not a good brush for it, it's too big. <laughs> you might wanna use a flat or even angled brush for this. I'm gonna use a flat brush. <laughs> Now I'm gonna do the same with the mouth. This is gonna be cool. All right, so for the mouth, I want to have a smiling open mouth that is missing a few teeth. Now let's add the teeth. Now let's paint the inside. And now we set again with loose powder. Now that the cream is set, I'm going to do what I did on the nose, which is darken the orange with black eyeshadow. Okay, now I'm using my yellow eyeliner and I'm gonna shape the teeth. Now I'm going to put on that orange everywhere else. You want to go back in and add more detail, uh, the lines on the pumpkin, a little bit more shading, and you know, a little bit more texture. I'm gonna start by... I'm gonna play with the color of my pumpkin by adding two different orange eyeshadows. Now with a brown contouring eyeshadow and a flat brush, I'm going to create all the lines on my pumpkin. So don't worry about the lines, they don't have to be perfect. If you look at a pumpkin, the lines are not perfect lines, they, they have like bumps and cuts, so don't worry about them. Now with a brush, I'm gonna smooth those lines, just to make the lines a little bit less sharp.
Now I'm going to add white paint on the yellow parts to make them shine and give more dimension. Now I'm finishing all the highlights with white cream. I'm putting, uh, I'm putting the last brush strokes uh, on the pumpkin and then we will move on to the lines. I'm going to darken the yellow part here. I'm now going to do all the lines here and here to create the illusion of the pulled pulled up skin I'm using a detail brush and brown eyeshadow. Alright, I'm gonna make the wrinkles look a bit deeper with black eyeshadow. And now to finish the wrinkles, I'm gonna use cream concealer and put it where I want the light to be and to reinforce the 3D effect. Guys, I think I'm almost done. I just want to put some black around the line here to give more depth and more realism. like it it's fun well guys that's it for today i hope you had fun watching uh, this tutorial i forgot to say at the beginning of the video that i was inspired by nika tutorials and with her pulled up demon makeup and also by this amazing artist but i can't see her name on the photo so i cannot say it right now but i will make sure to find her name and put a link to her profile or youtube uh in the video description and also on the screen here this is her and yeah i will now go and i will see you tomorrow with another halloween makeup bye this is halloween this is halloween halloween